Hey, it's Tommy from Pitch Up Look Sharp. Um, I am staying in a cottage. This isn't my house here. It's amazing. We're actually staying in this cottage. Let's show you it. There. Like, amazing thatch cottage. But it came with this massive garden, and it's Christmas, and I've opened one of my presents, and it's the Dutch army tent, which I asked for. Um, there are tons and tons of reviews of this on YouTube. It's and the reason why there's so many reviews, primarily, is because of how cheap this tent is. It's only 40 quid, this tent. I mean, if it cost a couple of hundred quid, there would be half as many reviews on YouTube. It's just because it's so it's cheap, and I think it's it looks wicked. You know, far better than the other sort of ex-military sort of tents you can get, I think. Um, there's a lot of options out there. So I got this from a... Market uh, army surplus store, and yeah, it's going. I've bought a couple of other bits from them to get really cheap stuff. I might do a bit of a little review of each item, and yeah, I'll, I'm not going to do a full on review. I'm just going to talk about why I bought the tent or wanted the tent. Uh, very much for my like idiosyncratic reasons, you know. Um, but anyway. Here it is. It is a large tent, considering it's, well, one to two man tent. It's come in this bag, it's got a handle, so you can carry it. Now the first point to make is this tent is quite heavy. And that is, I, like, if you're taking it on solo expeditions, you can't walk far with that. Um, which is, you know, and I am, I don't mind walking an hour, maybe hour and a half. I could probably walk with like a heavy load any longer than that, then it's going to be too much. I'm I'm just wondering how heavy this tent is, how far I could actually get. But that's one of the first things to bear in mind. It's the biggest um, floor with this tent. Well, I'll set it up and show you guys what it looks like and then go through my reasons for why I've picked it. <laughs> I think these tents look wicked. Um, and the camo is in really, it's really nice. Woodland camo, which is where I'm mainly going to be using it. Um, in terms of setup, I have struggled to get it as tight as I can, like struggling to get it nice and taut. First thing you can see about it is it's not an, it's not an asymmetrical tent. <laughs> Correction, it is asymmetrical. It's designed so you sleep one way with your head at one end. Something to bear in mind when you're setting it up. Um, these tents, another little quirky feature to them, designed so they've got zips on both sides and you can zip them together. You can zip multiple of these tents together. Um, I've seen people on YouTube do that, which is kind of a, it's kind of a cool feature. I don't know if I'd ever do it. Um, Anyway, yeah, the setup pretty easy. It's not as taut, like I said, so I'd like to get it. I'm not sure how I can improve that, but rainwater will run off that. And just give you a quick look inside. It's very spacious when you lie down. Plenty of room at the either at the top or the bottom for your gear. Um, zips up. So, yeah, no, happy with it. Really happy. So, the reasons why I've gone for this tent, now, um, which are, are things I've not seen online people mention particularly, but the, one of the great things with this sort of tent is that it opens, for me anyway, opens the f where the doors are, the doors are on both sides, you could have them open and rolled up, and then you could lie, be lying down, and if you have a small little fire, which I've got a little metal box um, sort of fire stove set up. I can be lying down next to the fire. Now that sounds really, it doesn't sound that important, 
but in most tents in some like old sort of I think I've seen a French tent that's like a classic tent where the, the entrance way you're lying lengthways with it so therefore if you if you, you always have to be sitting if you want to sit in your tent and do some cooking you are always having to sit in the entrance um, which, and you know for, for you know a number of hours I could you know start to hurt your back and stuff and this just much more for the evening you could just lie out and see what's going on which I really like um, the other reasons I got it I just love the camo I think it's perfect for obviously designed for being in woodlands I mean it's even pretty camouflaged here considering we're in a garden um, yeah what else just I just saw like the durability of it the fact that it is um, like a cotton I think that's it cotton not cotton canvas it's in colder conditions that's going to preserve your heat more which is the only time I'm going to use this tent I wouldn't I don't think this tent is particularly suited for summer camping although you could do it I guess there are little air flaps vents that you can open inside um, I do like the way that you've got two doors either side so if you need to look out either side you can just unzip them which is cool I think the only, the, obviously the, the issue I mentioned at the start is the weight of this. Is there any way I could reduce the weight? The poles that come with it are quite heavy. Now, can I just get some aluminium ones that are half the weight? Um, the, the ground sheet is very heavy. I mean, it's, it's great because it's not going to let in water from the ground. A part of me has been thinking whether that could be cut out which sounds a bit bonkers, but it would reduce the weight of this quite a lot. Um, yeah, which I, I don't know, I wouldn't really want to do, but it's an option I might consider, because they're not, like I said, they're not that expensive, these tents. Another big downside of this tent, which I've heard, is that it leaks. Now, some of this is just straightforward leaking right through the material. I know the weave has to get wet to tighten up, and it will probably need some waterproofing, which I'm happy to do at some point. Um, I've got to do my other larger camping tent anyway. Um, and then people have complained about, well, they have moaned about the way that there are holes in it. There's a YouTuber out there complaining about, oh, we're being scared of um, bugs and stuff. And I'm just like, I think that's a bit, <laughs> a bit too far. I mean, what's going to really get in that little spider? Who cares? Um, but yeah, I have seen videos where this lets in a lot of water and people have recommended putting tarp over the top, which seems a bit daft to me really once you've lugged this thing out to camp with it and then to put something over the top of it. Um, I'm not too phased by getting wet. Like I said, I think I'm going to have a camp bed in this most of the time of some sort. Now, I've obviously just got to be a bit wary of weight with my setup but um yeah that's just one thing i mean i've seen a video where it absolutely pools of water inside the ground sheet and the problem is once it gets in there it's this this waterproof ground sheet which is really good quality but obviously doesn't let any water out if you start getting a leak from inside or water starts coming in um so yeah, like it's. I'd be yeah, obviously curious to see how much it does leak, but I, I'm not too bothered by that. It's all part and parcel of um, camping. Yeah, I might stay in it tonight. Um, I've got a camp bed, so it'll be really cushy. Yeah, got it all set up for tonight. I'm gonna test run it. I think it's gonna be well comfy. I've got a, a camping bed in there raised and there's still plenty of head height i've got um arctic sleeping bag which is another surplus supply purchase um only 20 quid um seems seems good uh, also i bought this jacket i'm wearing which is a czech jacket yeah the only 
issue of it, it's come a lot larger than I thought it was, the jacket. Um, but hey ho, because it's got some drawstrings on it which help pull it in. I guess over if you're if it's really cold at the moment, it's very mild. It's only um, I think it's only 10 today or something Celsius, but um, yeah, so this will be good to go over like some big jumpers and stuff. But so I feel it's way too big, <laughs> but you can't really return stuff, only 20 quid though. So yeah, really enjoying this little setup, hopefully. See what it's give you. Well, see what it's like. Spend the night. We've got this lovely cottage to stay in, <laughs> which has been booked on Airbnb. Um, but I'm choosing to sleep in this because, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. A nice little test run in a safe environment. First night in the tent. Um, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's very spacious in here, really. Once you're in here. Um, the only slight problem I had was that obviously this camp bed raises me off the ground and you can see here that I'm on the camp bed, this thing here, and then my feet were touching in the sleeping bag, the roof of this tent, only slightly, to my credit I could have gone further up the bed further up the tent because it's quite a long tent I mean I'm six foot well just under six foot and there's plenty of room at the top and bottom and the width of it there's plenty of room for one one man bed and it gives you a little bit of space either side which is great leakage there has been uh, some water has penetrated through I mean, I don't know if you can see, it's raining right now. It's light to moderate rainfall, I guess, in the night. And it's come through in some parts, like there's little tiny puddles, nothing massive. Um, obviously, with these sort of canvas tents, you can't touch the tent. So you just got to make sure. But it's really nice, I can sit up in here. Um... I've got the door open now. Yeah, no, really enjoyed it. It's, I think it is. Really good tent. I think I just need to waterproof it and see if I can take it out on some little stealthy trim, trips and see how I get on, really. The only criticism it's not about the tent at all is this, I mean, this camp bed's okay, comfort-wise. I was expecting it to be a bit more comfortable. Um, um, and then the sleeping bag, which is an X surplus gear, I think the squaddies called it the green slug. It's called an Arctic sleeping bag. Now, i.e. that you can, you can keep warm in really cold weather. I've not found it very warm, really, considering it's, it's called that. Um, it's not particularly thick, but I'm not actually too bothered by any of that because I wanted something that was a bit camo -y, so it wasn't as easy to spot me. Um, and, and I didn't want it to be um, too big, too thick. Like some of these four season ones can get really thick and heavy. So I am kind. I was kind of surprised though by this, like. I don't know what other people's sort of attitude is. I don't know if it's been washed too much. I know I've heard that the more it's been washed, it loses its thermal sort of value. Because, um, but that's nothing to do with this tent. It's just all me experimenting with different, different things. Anyway, that's enough about this tent. I'm going to take it out on, I think, loads of trips. Saves making a shelter like I did the other time. And so just set this up, it takes 15 minutes to set up. I'm gonna have a few other bits of camo with it, just so it's nicely camouflaged. Bit of netting. Um yeah. Anyway, 